New York City migrant crisis costs are expected to double. It's getting mighty expensive, and after like the first 12 months of the migrant crisis in New York City, things are looking bad. Look at this, guys. Costs expect to go from $2 billion in a two-year period, double to $10 billion by 2025. But the biggest question is, $10 billion in 2025 next year, where in the world are going to get all this money when some of the wealthiest businessmen in New York City are leaving? When some of the biggest financial institutions are moving north to Toronto, but mostly south to Miami, where is New York City getting this money? There are already increasing taxes. There's already increased hidden water bill fees. Everything is getting so much more expensive, and people are just simply leaving. And New York City is simply going broke. Look at this, guys. An average of $350 per night for at least 37,000 households. City projects it will be spending almost $5 billion providing shelter, food, and health care. But in 2025, it's going to be even higher because the inflow of migrants is increasing. People have been saying to New York City, what in the world is going on? Things are just getting mighty expensive. And one of the most expensive things in New York City for the migrant crisis is going to be the shelters. So now New York City decides to give 150 migrant families up to $4,000 each to get them to move out of these shelters, which really doesn't make any sense because... Okay, they get $4,000, they move out. Where in the world are they supposed to go? Are they going to be on the streets? Are they going to be in Midtown? And a lot of these migrant families and a lot of these migrants coming to the U.S., especially in New York City, they don't have job permits, right? Like the amount of jobs for this many migrants, that's not happening. So a lot of migrants go for crime. You know, there's already several migrants being arrested for a lot of crimes and robberies and petty theft in Midtown. Some they do it for profit, but others they have to do it to survive. And this is all because New York City just doesn't know how to handle them or take care of them. Midtown's crime is spiking. 75% of arrests in Midtown are migrants. And that speaks volumes. You know, if New York City didn't take in so many people and it actually helped, let's say, a few thousand people get assimilated into New York City culture and also the city, I guarantee you there wouldn't be such thing as migrant crime here. But because New York City, for some reason, decided to take in like over 100,000 people all at once, they're collapsing right now. And guess who's going to be paying for this $10 billion 2025 migrant bill? The New Yorkers. Okay. Now, $5 billion of New York City taxpayer money spent on the migrant crisis, and many local New Yorkers are really frustrated. They're seeing funds diverted from veterans, mental health, the homeless, to support illegal immigration. Shelters are packed, crimes up, and New Yorkers are left asking, what about us? And you kind of see why there's so many other cities in America that are absolutely doing well. New York City in the past four to five years lost 10% of its population. Did you know that? People probably didn't tell you that, but look at some of the statistics. New York City really peaked back in 2015. But now, after several years of punishment, migrant crisis, and also high rents, New Yorkers are fed up. Big corporations are also leaving. Many of the biggest corporations in New York City are moving to Miami. They're moving to Nashville. They're even moving to Canada. And that's why we're seeing New York City going downhill. 10% population drop is humongous considering the U.S. population is increasing rapidly. And check this out. And two potential reasons why the National Guard right now are in front of many of these buildings People are saying that there's two potential reasons why people have been seeing the National Guard is in response to possibility of Trump being sentenced to prison in New York City, or New York City has been overran by illegal migrant crimes. And it's getting worse and worse. You know, New York City is becoming a dumpster right now. It used to be this very high-end, very good area. You guys think it's just New York City being affected? We're all seeing just random towns being affected as well. Like Springfield, Ohio, apparently got a humongous increase in migrant population, and it's being played down. Okay, people are saying that hey, some pets are being eaten. You know, this is some really wild stuff. You know, a bunch of migrants are coming in. These little towns cannot seem to take that many people in. And look at this, guys. There's already a lot of migrants taking over apartment complexes and whole blocks in Aurora, Colorado. You already have migrants taking over Springfield, Ohio. 
this is not looking good at all, okay? So if you look at Twitter, if you look at some of the personal testimonies, this is what it looks like here. America seems to be a massive mess right now. They don't really know what in the, what direction they need to go towards. But at the current moment, you clearly see in New York City alone, cost is increasing. Some random towns in America are also being overran. What in the world is going on? 